Alrighty folks, hey I want to make sure you can see our beautiful new shirt that's available in our store before I sit down and talk to you right here on my take on Home and Garden. Guys, we have fans and sentiment and so on sending things again so Thought you might want to see. Check it out, guys. We could start with any one of them. <laughs> we got, I got to tell you, I'll start off with this one. This is the best one. Our wonderful, dear friend, you guys have heard her name before, Ruth Parks. Okay? Way up in Canada there. I figured it was about time she sent something. <laughs> I knew she'd end up sending something. Do I have her confused with somebody else? I'm just kidding, you know. She sent a ton already. Now the best part, the girl, I'm telling you, she must be an architect the way these things are packed. Now I know she's rolling on the couch right now, right? Look at this pack job. It's, I'm teasing her, but she is something. Okay, you open it up. It's totally surrounded by egg carton, which is, when I was young, I found out these were great acoustic cones for the wall, you know, to clip high end noise. <laughs> like that's not enough. Oh my goodness. Look at this thing comes out like in a module. There is the classic note. This looks like battle armor here. It's really good. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, she's not giving away her Tupperware. Do they have Canadian Tupperware? Yukon wear. All right, let's see what we got. We have, wow. This girl has a spool of tape, I think, the size of a pickup truck wheel. Look, look at this, we got more packing. Cut to fit. And she is priceless. Nothing's getting broke. You could send the Hope Diamond with her. Look, look at all this work. Well, I'm sure this is cute as can be. I could, let me get the other one. I'm glad she told the trash guys not to come for a couple of weeks. Look at how she's got this all cut perfect to fit in there. What a doll. Uh-oh. It's looking cute already. Oh my goodness sake. Now I almost remember her saying something. These are amazingly cute on a little bitty scale. How cute is that? Oh man. Oh, look at this. You're killing me. I gotta get my magnifying glass now. <laughs> You're making me tell on myself. And I have bifocals on these. That is tiny. But anyway, the beautiful little porcelain set. Wee little clovers, don't you know? Wee little clovers. Is this a hint that I don't do St. Patrick's Day? I'm feeling like it's a hint for St. Patrick's Day. Anyway, what a darling. So cute. Ruth, I don't know what we're gonna do with you. Let me see if her note is available. Thought you might like these two. I think they were a graduation gift purchased in the Virgin Islands by my aunt. They have never been used and always kept in a china cabinet. Excited to see all the beautiful gifts others are sending you. Bye for now, Ruth Parks. 
Angela, I love the music you add to the videos. So soothing. Absolutely. Anybody that doesn't know that by now, right? <laughs> Thanks, Ruth. Really cute. Really cute. Now, you're not going to believe this one. This... She, she probably thinks we're just terrible because I'm just now opening this. And this is the next week you'll, it'll go on the air for anybody to see it. But I'm going to have to thank her before it goes on the air. This is from our friend and yours, Lady Mary Beth from Lady Mary Beth's channel. And she sent us... A gift and if you guys were watching her like I know a lot of you do you already know what it is now she's got something else in here snuck in probably for Angela because she knows Angela's not here opening but she'll certainly see it look at this oh it's a cute little centerpiece Look at this with lemons. Very nice. Ooh, the citron. We know a little French when we see the citron. Thank you. Very sweet. Here's a card. I should let Angela read it. What a good friend. We just knew she was could be a friend, and that's how we always treated her. Dear Angela and Jeff, thought of you with this tulip time oval platter. Enjoyed your feature of this beautiful pattern. And just re returned from Paris and got this tea towel for you and your love of lemons. Would love to welcome you to our home in Germany. There are flea markets and thrift stores you would enjoy. It's a long trip across the ocean, but well worth it. Wishing you continued success with your awesome channel. Sending love from Texas, Mary Beth. Wow. <laughs> what a sweet pea, right? She's so good. And we got like a little, her little channel business card. Just wonderful. Thank you so much. Really cute. Angela will really appreciate that too. My gosh, the girl got us the platter when she got home, but when she was, they went to Germany where they have another home and they went to France and she picked up that for us too. And also, of course, by the way, her husband, Christoph, we say danke. And thank you, sir. And that's danke, Herr Christoph. Well, that is some bubble paper. Now, this, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Is my chest moving? <laughs> Beating <laughs> really fast. Heart of hearts. <clears throat> oh, it's wonderful. That's so sweet. And here it is, guys. The unbelievable Tulip Time by Johnson Brothers. And this is from the 40s and 50s. It's really tough to find any. This plate, of course, coming from her, this is superb. I don't think it may have never actually ever got out of its crate packing. <laughs> That's how nice. I would only expect that coming from her anyway. Thank you so much. Truly wonderful surprise, and 
from a great friend. I once called her our sister channel, and it's really how I feel about them. Now this package, to move it along, is, believe it or not, another repeat. She's got a trigger, I call it like a trigger reaction, <laughs> like Ruth Parks, right? This is from our wonderful friend in Tennessee, Doy. Now she has sent this to Angela and it is beautiful. It's a little colonial porcelain piece made in Bavaria. And she is something I told her before. I told her in the Gmail, I said, well, nobody has to tell you about what we like. <laughs> this is for Angela's little colonial porcelain collection. And it'll be absolutely striking. You know what? There isn't a plate yet. This will be the first one. And I just, the color's fantastic for, for being the first one, I think. Then the girl, like that wasn't enough, or like she hasn't already done enough. I pre-unpacked this so it wouldn't take so long. Very unusual. And right up our street, so to speak with this. This is a berry bowl set that the Europeans are big on. You have the master bowl. Okay. This would be full of berries and you'd have a ladle or a spoon to serve. Each person would get their own little serving bowl. We kind of still do this at our house with ice cream or pudding desserts like that. Look how fabulous. And I gotta tell you, Doy, this is a real treat because first of all, I, I, I mentioned this before, is there something about when you get older, birds, birds, just love birds more and more and more <laughs> and on your things and your shirts. <laughs> All right. And these are called Eleanor, made in Bavaria. The yellow is so unique, and that's what I want to rave about because I usually walk right past it because it, it, for some reason, my makeup, it doesn't catch my eye first. But these are fabulous. And they're in the luster wear. Okay, so really ultra good. Thank you so much. Doy, you're spoiling us now. <laughs> Alrighty, we've got another package from Liz and Bob Richards who live in Corfe Castle in England. Okay, and she had sent a couple things before, but I'll tell you, they really did it up. We got a cutest Easter card. If you remember the last time, this Corf Castle is up on a giant mound, and here it is in 1643. And a postcard, it's just amazing. Now, she sent a cute picture of the queen out of the paper and the queen's getting ready for her if I'm not mistaken her platinum jubilee I've always had a deep feeling for her anyway just wonderful she sent this beautiful collector's book on this town and castle that they live in and it's just fabulous really good that's something you know that we can be jealous of as americans because we're only a couple hundred years old and they have things that are a thousand years old 
<laughs> now I got to tease Bob because Bob, I was going to ask if you were in walking distance of the pub, but I see how you're getting to the pub. <laughs> I get it. Believe me, this is fabulous, okay? I'd love an old car. Bob and Bugsy, our 1934 Austin Sever special. Very, very cool. So be careful coming back from the pub. <laughs> we know there's one there. <laughs> Just cute as heck. Now, back to the Beals, you've heard me mention. They were so cute in sending the uh, little fine porcelain oriental cups and saucers and that's Elizabeth and Ed, okay, and Ed, Edwin was a Methodist minister for over 30 years and he wrote a little book and he was sweet enough to send me a copy, a little paperback. If you guys run into it, and he, he's so good, he, he didn't ask me to promote it or anything. And it's called The Beloved Doubter by Edwin Beal. Answers to your questions about the Christian faith and Christian life. And Ed, I'll tell you, I just cracked this the other day and haven't read the whole thing, of course, but... It looks like a wonderful read, and there's a lot of references. And he wrote in here, Jeff and Angela, blessed are those who invited to the marriage supper of the Lamb. What a table. And that is a cute statement. So, very cool. Thank you, Ed. Really appreciate it. Everybody, everybody that sent something, you know, we're crazy about you. Now we got another cutie. Mary Luann Stewart. She says, Jeff and Angela, you are such a blessing. And I want to send you a happy Easter blessing. We love watching you. And you're both our favorites. Thank you for the hard work. Now, just a darling. Okay. I wanted to say her husband's name is Ed too, but no, I'm just not seeing it. Craig and Mary. Okay. That's it. Forgive me, guys. We're going on 16,200 subscribers. It's over two today, by the, by the way. They had gmailed me and asked if we would be interested in their old Japanese little figurines from just post-war, which they're stamped that way, Occupied Japan. And I said, well, that's pretty cute. What did you have in mind? He said, what we had in mind was send them to you as a gift. <laughs> I said, well, man, we'd love it. So they did. Anyway, cutie Mary has sent Angela some smell goody stuff, unopened of course, from Mary Kay, okay, man, that was a surprise, and we loved everything. Now here's the cue, <laughs> you're not gonna believe some of these. I'm gonna have to pause the camera probably and get, get them out of here. Now look how precious, the, <laughs> the Oriental Asian guy with the cart. You know, classic, classic stuff. This, I think, probably is, well, it's one of my favorites because we have the colonial porcelain pieces, and he is totally different than anything we have. Now, I'm going to pull this all out and be more reasonable about it. Oh, this is too cute. Nothing like this. 
Okay, so Greg and Mary Stewart, I've pulled out all your Occupy Japan little bits and pieces, and I wanted to tell you, I wanted to tease them, really. You guys wouldn't believe this. I was even excited about all the rubber bands. <laughs> I, gotta, I got saved off of the... They had each one of these, okay, cocooned in the bubble wrap like this. Not one rubber band on it, one each way, doubled, you know, twisted on and then done again. It took me an hour and a half to open all this. <laughs> so, really protected and look at this. The little suitcase. Now, a little girl would go nuts over this. And what's cute about it is one day, one, some little girl just thought that it was wonderful, you know? So that's too cute. Here we go with a Japanese Donald Duck, <laughs> which always cracks me up. They tried to be on the bandwagon too, you know. Here's a girl that's a rabbit and she's kneeled down to pick flowers. <laughs> now, you know I love the Oriental. Here's another, like a, like a charmer. He's playing a horn, but he looks Oriental to me. He fits with them guys. This is really funny and amazing. And it just takes me back, you know, to a time when when you were a little, little kid, if you got that from your grandparents, you'd think they walked on water back, way back then. Something like that. The horse and rider and you put that on your dresser. <laughs> really good, really cute. That's what these things do to me. You know, they, they just take you back, take you right back. Now here's the cat and the fiddle, he's missing his bow, but I am telling you, I will put a bow back in his hand with this so he can play the fiddle. And here's the pepper shaker. All occupied Japan. And they crack me up because look at this. <laughs> These busts and heads were so popular back then. And this one, of course, has the little lace it's just amazing to me that they could even do it. And you know, they had to fire these a couple of times without anything breaking. You guys, they said, we want to give them to you if you want them because they're not our thing. And I get that too. And I didn't start collecting these either, but when I inherited my mother's colonial stuff, we started paying attention to it and Angela started liking it. So we added to it, like you've heard me talk before. Anything we inherited, we've added to tenfold, I'm telling you. So that's why we like this now. And these will just be put with those oddities and become a bigger collection and be too cute together like they're all back home together somehow. Really good. Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed our friends and family and supporters and viewers, <laughs> notes and laughs and gifts that we appreciate everybody, you know that. But give us a like, a share, a comment. If you have a little minute, send a buddy over. And I need to talk, I'll talk separately. Take care now, everybody. Be good and have fun. Get your summer picnic on. And we'll see you next time, right here on my take on Home and Garden.
I'm glad she told the trash guys not to come for a couple of weeks. Look at how she's got this all cut perfect to fit in there. What a doll. <laughs> I'll raise you three temptations. And trade you for Baltic Avenue. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, she's not giving away her Tupperware. Do they have Canadian Tupperware? Or do they call it something else? It's so far north, it's probably called Upperware, right? Is it? I don't know. <laughs> Yukon wear. Now, Angela, you'll notice I'm not wrapping, wrinkling, unpacking, and talking at the same time. I'm waiting. Evidently, that helps with her editing. So, <laughs> I'm sure it does, too. Trigger. I call it like a trigger reaction, <laughs> like Ruth Parks, right? This is from our wonderful, wonder <laughs> this is from our wonderful friend in Tennessee, Doy. <laughs> 